Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on the far side server again today. And one sec. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um we are on the far side server, as you guys can see, like I already said. And you guys might be thinking, why why'd you go get your silk touch pick out? Well, I was told by a couple people, by Caniva and Sandy specifically, that I should have my silk touch pick ready next time I come on the server. So what the heck? Someone was at my base. Some of these are turned over. Some of them aren't turned over. I Well, anyways, Sandy and Kanava told me that I should have a Silk Touch pick ready because they did something. And I kind of have a feeling I know what it is. I kind of have a feeling they messed with my Quartz stack because I live streamed the other day and I told them I had to get off and I'd be off for a couple days. And... They said, oh, wouldn't that be a shame if something happened to those? Because they saw me get a bunch of them. And sure as heck, look at Nice little... Nice little... Dude, um... Mm, it's night out. Is that... That's right now a smart thing to do, go down there at night. Hopefully they lit it up in there. Nothing's like, you know... Mm. This is, dang, what, okay, so what did they all do? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's going to be a pain in the butt to get down. Gosh dang it. Little house. Little, what's that thing? What is that thing? <laughs> it almost looks like a, like a giraffe. <laughs> I think it is a giraffe. It is. It is. Look at that draft. Let's 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 ride on the back of this draft. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Okay, let's get off it. I don't want any of these to explode. Oh my gosh, how bad would that be if something exploded? So let's go. I guess I can go look at this sign down here. So let's see what these nice people did to me. Hey, Cluster. So Sandy and I saw your quartz and noticed that they didn't look very nice because I had them in a box, just a box. Our hearts, oh, okay, didn't look very nice. So out of the goodness in our hearts, we made you this masterpiece. That looked like a master. That don't look like a masterpiece to me. This looks like a pain in the butt. That's what it looks like to me. We wish you happy living in your new house. And we hope, we hope you recommend us to your friends for construction needs. Can sand construction. Kniva and Sandy. Thank you. Okay. Why is this cool? Yeah. Okay. How nice of them. Uh, let's go take a tour. What is this thing? What's this thing? Is that supposed to be like a mailbox? We'll say it's a mailbox. Support. Support. Little house. They could have done it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hey, nice. Little theater room. Eat some popcorn. Oh, man. They dug down then, didn't they? Window. Uh, fire. Let's just put out that fire before anything happens. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's keep that there, actually. Okay. I hear a spider. That's fine. And then something. Oh, my gosh. Pain in the butt. And then how high does that go up? It's got to go up high. Like, really high. <laughs> 70 blocks. Dang it, man. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, nice prank. Nice prank. You know, and I, you know what the sad thing is? I gave him the idea. I got done with my court. Oh, oh, a tree. Oh, we missed a tree. And what's this thing? A garage? Tree. A couple trees. A garage. Uh, I gave them the idea. I said... I said one time, I said after my stream, right before I was getting off and planting them, I was like, man, you know how big, you know how sucky that'd be if someone played me, played a prank on me and just, like, put these all down, and maybe had to even just relay them again, you know how pain in the butt that would be? Well, sure as heck, they took my bite and they did it. Now, what's this thing? Like a chair just out in the, out in the middle of nowhere? Like, ugh. Good prank. Good prank. Good prank. <laughs> Ah, good prank. I want to know how high that is. That's got to be like build height. 
Gosh dang it. Well, I'm going to take a work. Take a work. I'm going to work on uh, taking this down. Uh, the so touch picks is almost gone. Hopefully it has enough uses. 415 with unbreaking three, hopefully. Ugh. Well, I'll get to work on this. Well, for those of you that wonder, this is at a 250 height. I, I didn't have enough blocks to get up. You guys can see, look at this. I didn't think it was going to be this high. But I didn't have enough blocks to get up. That's my block right there. I had to cut these down and then put them back to get back up here. Man! Then on top of it, there's snow up here. Uh, good thing I brought my shovel. We're just going to do this. Get it all off here because it's so dang high that snow fell on it. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. Ugh. Oh well. That's part of the game. That's 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 the fun part of being on a server. Is you have fun people like this that just do all these fun things for you. Uh, so, we will con get this thing cleaned up and... Then, hopefully, we will have time today to be able to kind of do what I was planning to do before I got on and knew this was going to happen. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, did that take forever? <laughs> I've been at it for close to two hours now with taking that crap down. I was having some block leg and stuff. and You had to pill her up to the top, then you had to... Take out a fourth of the section on top. Then you had to bring the pillar back down. But as you brought the pillar back down, you had to destroy the other pillar that was up there. And blah, 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 blah. And about halfway down, it, you know, because it takes so long to get down. About halfway down, you'd have to you'd have to teleport our uh, ender pearl down to the bottom. Just so that none of that stuff just spawned. And then you had to pillar back up. So you, uh, by the time you got to the bottom, you had two pillars going up. Like there was that one. And then you'd have two dirt ones next to it like that and uh, you guys feel my struggles so what I ended up doing is I ended up uh, taking down the houses and stuff first because I realized if I take down the stuff up top the bottom was going to end up just having like a, I'd have to run around the bottom and like on top of the houses and stuff just to get uh, just to get my stuff back and so yeah so I have all that, just so you guys can kind of see how much quartz I do have. I have, what's this? This is four, five stacks. Five and a little less. Five and almost a full five. Right there. And then a whole chest full. So, that's how much quartz I have. Um, oh, man, that was a pain in the butt. That was tough. That just took forever. So, we're just going to... Go back to rebuilding our 20 by 20 is what we're going to end up doing here. So, uh, <laughs> I will work, <laughs> I will work on, uh, replanting all this stuff back down. And I'll show you guys. So, what ended up happening too is I ended up getting, uh, uh, three. Um, I think it was three is what I ended up getting. Um, three, like actual just regular nether, uh, nether quartz in it not the blocks but just the quartz and i don't know if that was what that was exactly from but i think it was from um i think it was just from the fact of maybe a little glitch because i was on my silk touch the whole time and i ended up getting actually three nether quartz so i don't know what happened there maybe it's just a little glitch and i was going too fast or something but uh either way so we will make this square back into the square it's supposed to be so whoo Wee. <laughs> we got it all back to normal. Back to normal. Now, I kind of like that guy. I don't know whose design that was. If that was Sandy's or if that was Caniva's. But either way, I kind of like it. Um, I'm trying to get a view of it. I can't uh, not necessarily get a view of it. But I'm trying to see. I think his nose is in the way. It might not be. I think it's right actually at the diagonal the corner of it. But I'm going to keep the giraffe. He's going to be like the guard giraffe type of thing. He's going to guard over my courts from now on. And uh, if anyone decides to mess with them again, he's going to go after them. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> no reply. should have expected it. Well, well, look who it is. They, they Look what the cat dragged it. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, he's going to be the guard giraffe. And 
If anyone else comes, we're going to go take him over to that person's place and he's going to wreak some havoc on them. So <laughs> let's uh, let's actually get to what we plan to do today, um, which I don't know now that... Uh, oops. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so we're back. Um, so like I was saying, where was I? Where was I? I don't even remember where I was. <laughs> where was I? Okay, so I've been working. Let's go this way. Let's close the doors back up. I've been working the other day. Come on, really? Did I not throw one? I did because I only have 15 left. Look at that. Man, it's been laggy today for some reason. Um, I've been working a little bit on collecting some stuff, as you guys can see. A bunch of uh, spruce wood, oak wood, a little bit of birch wood. Just some things uh, you might be thinking. You don't really have a wood build over here. Why are you? Uh, why do you have wood? Um, a couple reasons. There's. I want to do some stuff at spawn today. Uh, go back to the black market and uh, make it like a turn it into like a trading post type of thing. Where if you want to sell something or buy something, just just small. Um, not necessarily in a shop, but just like a trading post where I like I want quartz and I have a bunch of clay, so I can tell people all. Um, I want, you know, one stack of quartz for one stack of clay type of thing. And what is up with this? Come on. Come on. Please? Please? Teleport me? Please! Thank you. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I want to do that. And then I also want to do... Uh, something else. But uh, one thing I forgot to show you guys is this little guy down here. So remember last episode, I made this little hallway leading down into something, which is going to be my potion room, as you guys can see. And I'll show you guys the finished product. So you see, take a nice little mental picture of, of that. Take a nice little mental picture of that. And then come down here and look at that. That is what, oh man, I was so happy. When I made this, I was so ecstatic, so happy. My initial plans in this were to make it like an automated area, but as of right now, it's just too small, and I thought about expanding it to double the size of it, but um, no, it's not going to work because if I double the size, I'm, w I'm already had to terraform the land over there to cover this up. So if I doubled it in length that way, just it would look stupid going that way. And if I will go this way, double, like if I were to turn it, like turn this, like like have the door right here, but have that portion right here instead, so that the bottle goes this way. I would end up extruding the land that way too. I measured it out. Um, so because of that, I'm just gonna leave it this side, and this will just be the potion room. And maybe what I'll end up doing is transferring potions. Maybe make an automated potion room somewhere else. Maybe like below here, it does all its processing, and then it uh, like maybe I just have like a chest here. I throw the ingredients of the potions that I want to make in that chest. It goes down below, does all the stuff, like even if it has to go like around over here, and then it sends it back up and puts it in the chests. Uh, so that's just a thought. Um, but yeah, so that's my room. I built that off camera because I was on the other day on my laptop, which I don't record on my laptop, and I wanted to build something. So this is what I wanted to build, and I just thought I'd just show you guys that instead of updating on that. Uh, if you guys can think of anything that, that should, should be cool and add to that, I still got to hide the lighting. Um, I have some lighting hid underneath of this glass, but I have to have these torches here as of right now. Um, I was going to put glowstone under there and then put this blue carpet on top, but having it raised up kind of looks stupid. So we went away from that. I already tried it and went away from that. Um, so yeah. We are going to head back to spawn then and uh, do a little bit of work on that black market. So, guys, we got quite a bit going on at Spawn from the last time I showed you. I'll just show you guys it real quick. Uh, this is Kaniva's game. Um, it's not open yet. Coming soon. You guys can go check out his uh, channel to kind of explain the game a little bit. Um, it's called a game called Spelunker, and um, I wonder if he has the instructions in here or not. He does. Um, but it, it's pretty much like a like an Indiana Jones type of game where he uh, oh, the eggs go? his goal behind it is to um, you you set up a chest that you have to go find 
in like a cave and you, you and someone else play it. You set up booby traps and then you have someone go play it and they have to get to the end to get the prize. And you can rig it with whatever you want. So it's a death game pretty much. You know, you rig it with TNT, with tripwires. They have to try to get through it without, uh, without you know, trying to detect everything and not get killed. Um, so that's kind of the name of the game. You can't break any blocks. You can't dig through the walls or anything like that. This is uh, Slam's huge house that he made. Um, and that's just kind of the game. You Once you get to the chest, you get the loot in it. But, you <laughs> you know, you're going to die, hopefully, on the way. Um, what is this? Hunter's Cozy Cottage. Oh, this has been around for a long time. Um, so that's that. Uh, Bam just made this. Real estate. Um, it's Welcome to Bam Real Estate Demolition and Resale Incorporated Company. Uh, looks like we have a Savannah. Let's see what these things say. Savannah. Bill of sale. Property sold by Bam Real Estate Incorporated. Area situated in Savannah Biome at negative 21, blah, blah, blah. Well kept lawn with a... F- Price of land, 20 diamonds, can be negotiated or <laughs> or other trades may be accepted. Um, he has Savannah Biome, Savannah Village, Slam's, Slam's Mansion. Right over next to spawn that building I just showed you. Probably, probably was previously owned by Slamscape, but has been impounded by Bam Real Estate and Foundation Incorporated due to violations of spawn security. Per- <laughs> Beautifully designed mansion, 20 diamonds. Um, Bam had mentioned, uh, I'll tell you guys once I get over, once I get over there. Um, what else we got going on over here? Uh, Vodka's working on something right now. Um, Zangief talked about redesigning that. I personally like the nether hub right there. Um, but Zangief mentioned he thinks he could do a better job. So he's talking about rebuilding that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Here's one, the new, oh yeah. Before I forget to mention, welcome the new guys to the server. Here's one of them, Edge Trip. We got a couple of them. Uh, check out their the new channels in my description. I can't remember the names of them all. So this is his shop. It looks like Edge Strip Industries. Selling some stuff. Name tag: Eight Diamonds, Fishing, and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna kind of expand on this today with what we got going on. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Ooh, this is a new building. I don't know what what is that. I haven't seen this building yet. What is this? Grand opening. Get three books for the price of two. Grand opening. Get three books for the price of two. Farside Library. Who made this? I don't know who made this. But this is this is a good idea. I don't know if this is like... I really like this idea. This is pretty cool. Pretty nifty idea. I like it. Some of these things might be competing with what I'm going to be doing. Our mind might be in conflict with them. But uh, that's fine. Efficiency 2. Who's going to want that? Uh, and then more space up here, I'm assuming. Nice building, whoever this is. I don't know who this one is. Maybe one of the new guys? Maybe. I don't know. All right, so what we're going to do today. Uh, nice, like, corporation with keeping with his design uh, since it's so close. What's this? Uh, Sani, yeah, she that's been here since like her first day. <laughs> she hasn't uh, worked on that in a while. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to. She died my sheep. Oh my gosh, what happened to my cows? Who didn't replant on the cows or whatever? Dang it, that sucks. Someone didn't uh, feed the cows. Oh well, who cares? That's all right. Who did? Who didn't feed my cows at spawn and reproduce them? Ah. Well, at least there's three left in there. Maybe something happened where one of them got killed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out all of my stuff that's around here. Um, I'm just going to come in here and dump, take out all this crap. And we're going to get rid of this. It's not going to be step on anymore. I'm going to have it be a push button um, so that you can push it. And then it comes up behind you. And then to get out, you just push it again. Uh, that's kind of what I want to do. And then I'm going to redo this too. People didn't quite fully understand how to use this. And I don't think very many people still do. So we're going to get rid of that and just build a stairway down here. Um, but 
this is this any far siders watching this is open um you guys can come down here and build shops bring stuff down here if you want uh you know maybe now that people are actually starting to use the community and building shops up there maybe this can just be a place where you design like a little section a small section remember we have to fit everybody in here oh oh okay uh to where maybe just do a small little section uh it's just a little design something down here you don't even have to make a shop down here really if you don't want to um it, that's what his intention was maybe i'll make up into something else since no one really is using it but it is ready if someone wants to come down here and do something in here um but what i planned on doing today oops 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 you daisies there we go I plan on doing work in here, getting rid of that stuff, and then building a area where people can buy and sell stuff right here. So we should have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oops, no, that's three, six, nine. Oops, 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 oops. Hmm. Oh, we can do this. Buy, sell. Yeah. So six. We can do that, right? Six, nine. Uh, Twelve. No, that's six. This would be six people. What I'm thinking is doing this. Let's go get some of our crap from our ender chest. What I'm thinking of doing is this right here where we just uh come in here and we make a bunch of dirt chests now um so a bunch of chests i gotta make trap chests i can't remember how to do that is it redstone in the middle or something like that um ah yeah i knew that was gonna happen here we go. but you come back here and maybe um what i was thinking is like that and then trap chest between each one and then someone can put uh what they want oh you know what i could do i could just go like this this might work a little better uh yeah that'll work four people in each one what you want to buy over here are like what you want for your trade over here and what you're selling over here so like you could put uh one diamond for one quartz block and then so you put fill this up with diamonds and then people will put their quartz stacks of quartz blocks here and then they'll take one diamond sort of thing and then you can we'll have books that they can sign that they purchased so i'm gonna go ahead and get this set up like that with people's names and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys so this is the finished product so any this is like i said it's just gonna be what buying and selling it's not gonna take away it's not meant to take away from anything that anyone's starting to build out here you know like that library it's not meant to take away from the library the library is about books it's not meant to way meant to take away from uh ed's trips thing or the new real estate thing over there or john's vodka thing that he's making over here this is just for purely like items buying and selling items trading items you know you have a silk touch pick you don't want to sit here or you have extra something and you want to get rid of it for something else like for me, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna look at getting rid of a fortune pick for a silk touch pick because I have fortune. I have three fortunes and I have one silk touch that's almost dead. Um, so I want another silk touch. Uh, so anyone that's far side watching this, this is kind of the instructions to it. I'll leave a. I'll leave a book and a quill with the instructions. But what I what's to do is grab a book, and then rename it. Rename it. Uh, like I'm gonna name it. Uh, um uh what should i name it uh people know me better as clusters clusters buyers guide that's what i'm going to call mine so clusters buyers clusters buyer buyers guide clusters buyer guide buyers guide buyer guide buyers guide clusters guide <laughs> to trading <laughs> i know that one cluster's guide to training so i renamed it to cluster's guide to training so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead in here and say 
Um, what? Why can't I type in it? I've never used one of these things before. There we go. Wanting uh, quartz blocks selling slash giving hardened clay blocks. Hardened clay. So, so, right now, oh, can I not? Oh, you can't navigate. Ooh, that sucks. Wanting, so, uh, one, two, one, uh, one to one ratio of quartz blocks, blocks to clay blo blocks to hardened clay. So what that means, done, so then uh, page two then, um, what would they be called? Um, customers, customers. And then I would like for the people who are, you know, who are customers to um, put their, grab the book and then sign, you know, put their name in it that they did it and then done. So every far setter should come in here. This is what I want you to do. Come in here and find a spot that you like. So I'll take this one. I'm going to put a little bit of server leg going on today. I don't know why. What's my settings at? Since we're like lagging a little bit, video settings, not okay. Come in here, put your book in here so people can come look at it. And then what are you trading? So what are you trading is all on the left sides here, all on the left side. So what am I trading? I'm trading clay, hardened clay. So I'm going to put a hardened clay in there. I'm going to put a hardened clay in there and then put the rest of it in here. So I want a one to one ratio. So for every one hardened clay you take, I want you to give me, I, well, I, want, I want quartz blocks. So someone can come in here and they can just be like, okay, what are people wanting? Um, they're wanting this and what are they giving or what do I need? Uh, maybe someone will come in here and be like, oh, I need clay. Um, oh, clay, I have a lot of quartz and then they'll trade me. So then they need to t take the sign and then they need to say, uh, you know, and then, uh, cause these are both of mine. Um, say something like that so they know who it is and that's it. So name your book, put your trading stuff up in here and let's get trading. I really like to see, I really like seeing that, uh, I'll clean all this up. This will all be taken away. So this will be just a kind of a four year area. Um, but I really like seeing that people are using spawn. I, I really was liking a, a community type of aspect and that's why I came back to spawn today to kind of build something at spawn. Um, so yeah, everyone can come back here and, uh, do their thing. I will make a rules book or a guide instructions manual for back here. And yeah. So like always guys, I thank you guys for watching. My name's Vilsa. Dream big.